everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is February 1st and it looks like Samsung has pushed out a ton of updates to the majority of all the modules here on GoodLock within the last five to seven days. Now I do want to say that I am sorry for coming in a little late on this one. I've been gone, out of town, traveling and so I just noticed that there's been a ton of updates and I updated most of these on my Galaxy Z Fold 2 and I left it here for you guys that we'd be able to take a look at here on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on just what is new, what was added in for Samsung One y 3.0 because it was a pretty big pain point for anybody who updated to 3.0 and then noticed that a ton of these modules are not working so here we are we got a ton of them that have been updated most of these you can see have that little orange n sitting right there letting us know that there is a new update and you'll see that or that little orange n if you have the module already downloaded now if you have one that is not downloaded at least for this new revamped looking version of good lock it'll show you this little blue area here that you're able to at least download it so first off lock star this is one that i don't have you know already installed in my phone but you can see that this one was updated on january 25th uh, then you also have quick star so if you want to see if there's you know the details and what is new you tap on that little that little present box that takes you inside of the samsung galaxy store you can click here to see what is new and then also when these have been updated so this one's been updated for a while but here's clock face so clock face this is one that we'll definitely take a look at here in today's video just because some of these clock faces are really cool and the customizations are really coming down to really what we want in terms of colors placements bold italicized I mean there's so many things that you can change with this one and this one was updated on January 28th so just a few days ago so we're gonna go through update some of these here that we were able to update but for sure we'll go over the clock face and then also here, multi-star, you can see that it was showing off that it was unplugged. And that was because it just completely didn't even open. It didn't even register that, you know, <laughs> this was an application that you're able to open up uh, if you had Samsung One UI 3.0. Now this one was updated here on January 28th. So really January 28th, 27th, and also the 30th was some pretty big days for some of these updates. So here is home up. Uh, if you wanted to see, you know, what it's all about, here's your description um, on the very top. If you want to see what is new, you just tap right there. Uh, there's a lot going on. So it looks like support for Samsung One UI 3, fix the One UI home uh, in tablet. And so right over here, this one's updated on the 28th. So we're going to hit update there. Now, I believe we hit the majority of all of these ones on the front page, at least from what I also use personally. Now, underneath family, you can also see that there's another update for Keys Cafe uh, and also for sound assistant. So we will mostly cover uh, sound assistant as well as clock face in today's video, but also too, just in general, letting you know, there's a ton of updates throughout here uh, of good luck, you know, 2021. So this one was pushed out on January 25th. So it looks like the 25th through the 28th was when the majority of all of these was pushed out. And if also too, if you hear any any little baby puppies uh, barking in the background, I do want to apologize for that. We do have uh, nine puppies with two litters that was, uh, you know, born a few weeks ago. They're about eight weeks old now. Uh, so about two months ago is when they were born. So uh, they're definitely loud in charge and gaining some of their personalities. Okay, so now that we've updated the majority of all these these modules here, some people might also ask, you know, what is good lock? Well, well good lock is a way that you're able to redesign your Galaxy phone from the lock screen, the, the quick start on the very top, all your, your task changer on what it looks like. So if you wanted this to change as well too, so task changer, uh, this is the only one that's still kind of bothering me here that does not work. Uh, with Samsung One UI 3.0. So my guess is that this, this update will be pushed out here pretty soon. I do like to have mine look different. I always had the cards that was all stacked up. So this one will soon hopefully be updated for all the rest of us. So, okay, so uh, good luck again. It's the way you're able to customize your phone and you're able to get it from the Galaxy Store, but it is region locked. So there's certain regions that you just can't download this. Uh, some people say you can get like nice lock and some of the other ones, but it's really just not the same. Uh, you can also possibly use VPNs to mask where you're actually located. Uh, so then this way you can also get good lock to work as well. All right, so let's head inside of clock face first. Now this one is really fun to play with. Uh, so you can set it up to where you have a different clock face for your always on display or for your lock screen. So let's say that we go for the always on display first. So what you're able to do is you can take a look at all these, you know, different faces here. Uh, so this is gonna be my clock. So this is what, um, if you wanted to completely change one and make one for yourself. Uh, but there's a bunch of these different faces here that you're able to fully customize. So some of the ones that are pretty fun are gonna be 
probably these top six. So this is one that I do actually like. Now, anytime that you tap on any of these, you can hit that little check mark if you want it to set automatically the way that you see it, or you can actually go through and you can edit. Now, once you edit, you can go all the way down to whatever these hashtags are. Uh, you can change the colors, you can change just really everything and how they look. So how about we go through here? Uh, so for this one, we're gonna do hashtag, uh, you know what, let's just, let's just go in with what's happening <laughs> right now. Let's put in Bitcoin, uh, but for this very first one over here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go with Jimmy is promo. There we go. So now we've made our own little hashtags right up over there. This is where you can choose if you want them to be more bold, italicized, uh, underscored, uh, or underlined. So here we're gonna go with a couple different colors. So I wanna go with this color wheel and I do wanna put in uh, the color red. I mean, red is a major color that I use. Now, this is where you can choose between if you wanna change the way you, you can customize your, your clock uh, and also the date. And then here is your little hashtags and things like that. Now, when it comes down to the date up over here, you can switch, you know, which color you want it to be. So I'm going to go with a grayish color just because some of the colors I use is kind of, you know, gray, black, and red. Again, you can do italicize the underline. You can also do bold. Then right up over here, this is how you can change how you want it to look. If you only want to show the year, maybe you only want to show the month, maybe the day. You can also switch uh, the order of how everything is all set up. So Monday, February 1st. So wherever you live in the world, it's gonna, you, you're able to switch it up for however you want it to look. Uh, then you can also either have it long or you can have it stacked like this. Then let's head over into the time. So there's a bunch of different times on how you want them to look, a lot of bunch of different styles. So I'm gonna go with this first one here. It actually does look pretty cool, pretty retro. Now when it comes down to the time and the layout, so if you want it to be within the 24 hours or 12 hour time frame, doesn't really matter. Uh, so this way, you know, if it's if it's one o'clock, it's either gonna say 13, 12, or it's gonna say 1, 12. Then you also have this time over here in terms of the style uh, or the type. So you can have it kind of staggered like this. You can also have it set up like this one as well too. And then for the times, you can change by the hour or by the minutes. Now, if you had one that has the colon inside of there, you can also change the color of that one as well too. Now, when it comes down to these colors, let's just go, I'm gonna go with the color white. And then I think maybe for the minute, I'm gonna go with that red color. I think that's gonna look pretty good. Then when you think that you're all done, you can actually just tap on that little top on, on the very top that kind of says like kind of like download. And then once you tap it one more time, you hit on a little check mark, and then now you just applied your clock face. So that one was for the always on display. Now how, how, how I have mine set up for the always on display is that I always need to tap the screen for me to have it show. Cause I don't want to have always on display shown all day just because it will take some of the battery life versus what I do here. So if I just want to know quickly what time it is, I'm going to be in arm's reach anyways. And for me to read it, I have to be pretty close anyways again. So I tap it once and that is the brand new clock face that we have set up. So this is what it looks like now for the lock screen. So how about we just change the lock screen really quick and then we'll go inside of sound assistant cause there's a few updates there. So going back inside of good lock, going back inside of clock face, now what we're gonna do is on the very bottom, we're gonna go on this side over here for lock screen. And then we're gonna make one that's pretty much just as similar. So let's go with this right over here. And one thing you do need to keep in mind is that you will have uh, other backgrounds in play. So even here, it just shows a flower, but it's not gonna have the flower for your lock screen. It's whatever your lock screen uh, wallpaper is. So make sure you have something that is universal that can work with pretty much all of those. So one thing I do wanna mention is that as I started creating these, so I put in uh, the hashtags I wanted. So when it comes down to actually these, all these colors right here, beforehand when I was talking about how it's gonna work with your lock screen in terms of whatever color you're using, you can actually choose this option here. It's either gonna be black or it's gonna be white. And it's gonna help out in terms of if it's gonna be a lighter or darker wallpaper. So it's kind of like automatically switching between light mode and dark mode and things like that. So for the way that all of this looks, I'm just gonna keep it very simple and basic. You can go through some of these particular colors if you want to. So maybe I can put the date as yellow and I could be uh, safe there. So now I'm gonna hit that little download button here. I'm gonna go to select. So now this is gonna be the clock face that'll be used on my lock screen. Uh, and again, it's gonna change. My guess, it should change between the colors if it's a darker background or if it's gonna be a lighter background. So let's kind of go through here. So it looks like the majority of all these 
um, everything is staying white until we get to this image here. So you can still see that my yellow is still yellow, but these used to be white, now they're black, just because white would just completely blend in. Again, same thing here. So if you have, you know, especially wallpapers that change like the ones that I do here, unless if you have a specific one, like if you specifically use this red, this actually looks pretty sick. So you can always keep those as white or a particular solid color. But if you have your dynamic lock screen turned on, I'd probably suggest using that option that switches between white and black. So this way, if it's a lighter background, darker background, um, it's always gonna work great. So we're gonna go back inside of clock face one more time, just so I can show you that little option. Now, because we had this one set up, I can go through and I can edit. So it's gonna be this, uh, this little option here for color. It's gonna be the white and then the black. Now, if you did want to create another one. So this is where you have all of you know my clock. So anything that you've created is gonna be st you're stored here. And you can go through and you can also add in another one or you can edit what you already have. And again, you can do the same thing right here with the screen with the always on display as well as the lock screen. So now let's look at sound assistant. So sound assistant is a way that you're able to, you know, change where you want your volume control. If you want it to the top, if you want it to the side. And now with this latest update, you can also change the colors and a whole bunch of really cool things. So if you want this volume panel theme, you're able to turn it on. So right now, this one is set up for just the regular, you know, Samsung One UI 3.0. It was already put over here on the right hand side. So this is what it looks like right now if you're not using the sound assistant. So here, we're gonna turn this one on. Now that it's turned on, you'd be able to see that it does look a little different. This is how you're able to open it up, which I feel to be a little bit easier because it's actually uh, closer to where my thumb is versus on the very top. Then also too, inside of here, if you were to take a look on the top, you can turn on your, your uh, live caption. Here's your settings, the EQ, and then the settings, which that settings icon will take you into the screen. Now, when you open this up, uh, the cool thing is that you can change, you know, the layout if you want it to be right or center, and then you go inside of color. So there's a bunch of different color options that you can choose. So just to kind of make it look a little bit different than what it looks like right now, we can go, let's just go with the green color right up over here for, for that little uh, green theme. So now if we just wanted to take a look at what the color looks like now, so now you can see that it has the, the green theme that is a part of there. Now, if you do tap on this icon here, it switches you between vibrate to sound mode. Also, you can change the volume of the ringtone and things like that. This is where you can change the volume of your audio. So this is gonna be your media. Here's your Bixby alarms and then just the notifications and the settings of the phone basically itself. Uh, now, another thing that you can also do here too is that you can change the control. So then this way, when you switch your volume rocker, it's only gonna be for the media. So as an example, let's say if I was to hit up right now, you can see that I'm jumping by 10, so it goes from 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 is where, you know, 100 and 120 is where it's, you know, quite loud. And then past that is just gonna be super loud. Um, but you can see that I'm making big jumps of, of, of levels of 10. Now, if I was to bring this down just a little bit, it'll be levels of five this time. So this way, if you are looking for something that's just a little bit more accurate, uh, maybe, you know, you always go between, let's say that you're up here between 90 and 100. And every single time that you hit this volume button once, you kind of wish you can go in between there. And this is exactly how you're able to do that by putting in changing of the step volume. And I'm also really glad Samsung added in this number. So you can see the specific number itself rather than just a little you know, volume line. So now let me show you what it looks like when you do pair a Bluetooth speaker. So now when you have a Bluetooth speaker that's paired up, what's gonna happen now is that when you open this one right up over here, you're able to switch where you want it to be played with this little icon here. So now it's on your cell phone and then now it's going to be on your LG speaker or whichever Bluetooth speaker that you're connected to. So when you do have a Bluetooth connected to it, you know, instead of you going to the top and going into devices and such, this is where you can just go right inside of here. You can switch it because maybe you pop into a car or someone calls you and you don't really want the, the call to be coming from a Bluetooth speaker or your vehicle, simply tap this little icon right here too and it can switch it between the sources if you want the sound to come from your phone or from the Bluetooth speaker itself. And then the last thing I do wanna show inside of uh, the sound assistant is you do have, let's see, where's it at? Bluetooth metronome. So what happens is sometimes when you're watching something, maybe the lips do not sync up and you could probably do this again with gaming and such. So when you go to Bluetooth metronome, uh, when you watch this, so you can see two, one, two, one, two, three. And if it feels like it's off, you're able to switch it. One, two, one, two. 
So if you feel that you're watching something or if you're playing a game and if the, the syncing is completely off, this is where you're able to switch it and fix it. Uh, you can also sync from volume panel theme. So if you want to add this on there too, um, I believe from the panel theme, let's see if we can see it. Um, so it looks as if right here, this is going to be that, that sync. So if you're watching something and maybe you're watching YouTube and it was perfectly fine and you left it at zero, but then you started playing a game and you needed maybe the gunshots are just not, you know, lined up, then you're able to switch it right here. So this is going to be your, your metronome that you're able to sync up the volume or the lip sync is what it should be called. Um, but it's going to work when you are connected to a Bluetooth speaker. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I wanted to show off some of these updates and changes and additions to sound assistance. Uh, I also did want to show off a few things with clock face just so you can see how it works. But yeah, there's so many different of these modules that now works with Samsung Winnie Y3.0. Uh, but now we just got to wait for task changer to also be added into this party. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.